Welcome back, it's the Clay Golem here. We're back in Foundry VTT and we're looking at a module in this video. It's one of Ripper 93's. And this is one of his free modules, so anybody can access it, um, as long as you've got Foundry, of course. Um, but you don't need any subscription, don't need to pay for anything else. It's not a premium one. Um, right, so what are we actually looking at? We're looking at, right in the middle there, real dice manual rolling. So I've got this installed. Uh, I'm in our Stormwreck Isle campaign series, Vandelra Blow, etc., where we've got lots of automation set up for our combat and everything else, all of our dice rolls. Um, so this is the most kind of one of the more complex setups that you may want to use this in. I suspect you wouldn't, but let's show what we can do. All right, so I've got a little scene here. I've just thrown in uh, Haley and Soriman with an ogre, and we can start a combat here. Uh, now, I already have this sorted and installed, so uh, let me just go to my chat so you can see that here. Uh, and first of all, we need to roll initiative, don't we? That's how we're going to start any combat and things. So let's start with Haley. If I click on Haley, doesn't roll initiative. Because what is it we want this to do? Hang on a minute. The whole point is it's manual rolling. So this is actually going to be expecting the player to roll actual physical dice and then enter the number. Oh, Haley rolled a seven, so I'm just typing that, this little box in the middle here, and I can click that. Yes, because I've got dice so nice on, it's then going to replicate the dice roll. Um, and we can see in the chat here, it's putting up saying that she's rolled for initiative. Um, Auto DM has rolled manually. Now you can turn that off, but I've got that on for this purpose. So Haley's rolled hers, Sorryman's got to roll his. And again, it's prompting that player. I'm logged in as the GM, but the player would be getting this prompt to say that they need to roll their initiative and on a real dice and we're putting in the dice that actually was rolled for that uh, and now finally we're going to roll the ogre and he's going to roll a 15 there okay so there we go uh, we've sorted that out um we've got our initiatives hooray now we can actually start our combat properly. Uh, who's going first? It's that ogre, not surprisingly, with those rolls that I fudged for him. Uh, he's going to move in and he's going to make his attack on Haley. He's already targeted, which is great. We can open his character sheet, go to his features. He's going to take a swing with his great club. And again, it's a bit awkward where uh, I've got that place. Just move it to one side. We've got this box up here where I'm going to manually roll the dice. Now you can see what it's going to do is it's going to roll 1d20 plus 4 plus two. So what am I putting in here? I'm putting in what I rolled. Oh, I rolled a five. So it's going to roll that five. It's then going to add those extra things on. We don't need shield evasion. Thank you very much. We get a little animation because we've got all that automation on. And now he has managed to hit. We need to do that damage. He's managed to hit Haley with an 11, did he? Have I not got Haley's armor? I thought I've taken Haley's armor off. <laughs> um, but then I'm going to roll my 2d8s and I can put in what those rolls were. And it's going to continue with that automation. So yeah, she's just taken quite a spanking. So that's all it's doing, really. Um, she's only got a shield on. I've taken her armor off. No wonder she's getting smacked. But that's fine. There's not <laughs> oh. Let's ignore that. That's a, that's a different issue. It's nothing to do with what we're looking at here. I will have a look at that for some reason. It decided Haley's armor class has uh, has pretty much disappeared, um, and her armor class is now it appears to be uh, hmm. weird. I'll have to fix that. Don't worry about that. That's not what we're looking at. Um, so as you can see, it's going to effectively every time there's a dice roll. It's going to ask for that roll manually. So it's interrupting that process for us so that we can manually roll it. Now, would I be using it for this with all this automation? No, we've got great efforts to get this automated. That's not what it's for. But what if let's switch over to our Curse of Strahd, for example. Now, this is where we're very much using theatre of the mind type of setup. So you may not have, let's pick a different scene, um, you may not have your players all logged in. You might be using Foundry actually physically sitting in the same location with your players and you can have a big screen up the, where you are putting the scenes and things for them to look at 
but they're not all logged into the computer. They're not logged into Foundry and therefore they're not actually rolling dice through Foundry. This is a perfect way of being able to do those rolls, track them in here if you wanted to do that. Now, again, it, you may not have that, that kind of mixture. Um, you may want to have either you are running combat in Foundry or you're not and you may want to just use a separate TV literally for just the visuals and the sounds rather than mixing the two but if you want manual rolls you absolutely 100% can do that and it's really really nice the fact it interrupts any other automation you've got or not got it will do that uh, let's have a quick look at the um, just come back to our uh, storm wreck aisle for a second here um, if I can use my fingers and actually click something. Let's have a look at a couple of the settings that we've got for this. Uh, da, 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 configure my settings and I want to scroll down and find real dice manual rolling. So there are a few settings in here. Um, we can change things like the theme colors and stuff, whether it shows those messages. So where it's saying auto DM rolled manually, roll manually, roll manually those messages we can turn on and off we've also got the position we've got it i had it center of the screen you can stick it in the chat box um, are we showing the formula that it's using yes or no up to you a total box but you could also set if only the game master is manually rolling i'm not sure why you would want to do that if anything you would want the players manually rolling and the dm auto rolling and do it the other way around and you can also configure which type of dice it will do the manual or rather request the manual rolling for so it's a it's a it's a small little one um, but potentially for individual setups really really useful to make sure that we can continue using those physical hard dice where necessary like i say it's probably in those situations uh, where you've got uh, physical players in front of you and you want to continue with that clattering noise of rolling your real dice. Now, of course, I've got dice so nice on, so I'm putting in a manual roll and then it's rolling them digitally. Probably wouldn't want both. Entirely up to you. Nice little module. Just thought I would show you. Um, yeah, okay, drop in the comments if it's something you think you would use, if it suits your group or not. Um, I probably wouldn't. If I'm face-to-face, -face, I'm probably not going to be using Foundry at all, personally. But there we go. Take care.